that. Kuzman quickly up the floor for the Clovers. Jackson for three again. They this time him. he knocks it down. I tell you, Cloverdale looks, they're just focused. This is a Cloverdale team that came into this game shooting 22% from three. They've hit four threes, but Aaron Pickle slashes in for a basket. Well, their offense is for North Putnam, possibly trying to get this down to a one possession game. Huff in the lane, scoop yeah. shot off the glass and in. And that's been the recipe, period one for North Putt, layup after layup. Both teams have had four different players score early in this first quarter. Who gets fronted by Jackson immediately, but he tries the three anyway, missed it. Rebound back, tapped out to Huff. And Huff trying to set something up. Through the lane he goes, kick out to Hackleman for three, and Hackleman has five points now. Well, maybe that'll get North Putnam going. Finally, a nice looking three point shot. That is actually their first made three of it the is. game. It is, yeah, absolutely. So maybe, maybe that'll get them going. Cloverdale has seven made threes, North Putnam has one, and that gets this North Putnam crowd back into it. Stevens has it, he averages double figures, but New Palestine turns it right back over. Dylan Moles sends it out right. Three by Mullins, and he cashes in. Mullins can shoot it from the outside. He's 41% from downtown in the first three games. Blaine stumbles and nearly falls. Offensive rebound off for Stevens, and Stevens puts it back up and in right before the horn sounds. That shot is waved off by the referees, would not have counted anyway. Strong close to the quarter for the New Palestine Dragons. They close it on a 12-0 run to lead by nine. Quarter number two comes up next on Nine Star TV. Stevens might have had some contact there. Roland with the steal. Roland goes rolling down the floor and has his first bucket. A really nice one, too. Behind. Kirkhoff had it. Up to Roland. Roland lays it in. He wanted a foul. He won't get it. New pal on the other side. Not only he answers. Lead is four. 30 seconds, three by Moles! Dylan Moles with his second three of the game and Greenfield Central is back within one. Really good job of Greenfield. Jim mentioned has not taken a free throw this season so far, has not scored tonight. Misses the front end of the one and one. Greenfield with a chance to win with a three, tie with a two. Moles 12 seconds. 10 seconds. Here's Roland. Roland to the basket. He missed it. He missed it. And Blaine Nunnally the rebound up the floor to Bryant. The layup is good for Ian Stevens. And that does it. The new Palestine Dragons get the stop they need. And the layup on the other end to secure the victory. 47 to 43 to knock off their big conference rival here at home. What a job, what a game by both of these teams. Bowles sliding, trying to go. Bowles in traffic. Bowles kisses it off the glass and in. Heritage Christian can't get a shot off and Lawrence North leads by seven as we head to the second. Your second line. And then they brought a double when McClure wasn't expecting it and he turns it over. That leads to an easy dunk for Omar Cooper who flushes it down. Omar's pretty. Didn't quite get enough on that. Cooper the rebound up ahead. Nice give and go. Team basketball leads to a layup from McCoy and Brown. Nice play that time. Bad shot by Heritage Christian. Didn't hit the rim so Lawrence North could get a fast break right out of the rebound. Good play. Fight for it there between Lawrence North pull away, but they've just been kind of hanging around. Colvin from way outside, and he hits another one. Nice shot by Colvin. Now he's starting to warm up, and we can see why he's being recruited Division I now. Couldn't really tell much in the first half. He's done a lot better in the second. Colvin just a junior, and a dunk on the other side. Danny Royster with a two-hand flush. Well, you just don't have the quickness in that trap that uh, Lawrence North has in their trap. So, Calpwicky inbounds. 
Out to Lawyer, but there's Wack running him off the three-point line, and Lawyer hits a contested shot anyway. Well, that time uh, Lawyer got a double screen, got himself open, and then Wack closed on him, but then Lawyer shot faked and had the open look. Wack drives, dishes, Williams has a seam and scores. Williams has to be a part of their offense this year. Found an opening and scored, plus the foul that for was, the 6'5 senior. That was an excellent play by Suter that time. Grab by Day. Homestead has some time to work with. Leaper up the floor. Leaper turns on the Jets and scores off the window. Right before the horn sounds, Andrew Leaper with a big basket to give the Homestead Spartans a three-point lead heading into the locker room. Our halftime show comes up when we return. We take you to break with this last play by Leaper on the ISC Sports Network and MyND TV.